Hey, welcome back to What the Hell Is This Thing Doing? Where I test IoT devices to see if they're safe, sketch, or just plain bad design. Today I'll be testing Smart Lock by Smonet. It comes with all the hardware you need to install it, and it feels like it's pretty good quality. There's also two NFC tags, this is the lock, and it can be battery powered. You can unlock it via fingerprint, passcode, or NFC. And of course, it has a backup lock. And on the surface, the app seems pretty cool. You don't make your own keys, you have to generate them, so you're not gonna use easy passcodes. And you can set up time-based codes or even one-time use codes. And this smart lock actually only works over Bluetooth unless you have the Wi-Fi gateway, which in my opinion is a good thing. It doesn't have to reach out to the internet. And that's where the pros stop. Because while the lock's not using the internet, the app is... You guessed it. And not only is so much traffic going to China, it is so noisy. It almost completely filled up my logs because it was sending something three to five times a second. And I'm not blocking China because of my own political beliefs. It's literally set as a high threat in the firewall by default. And my DNS security umbrella also picked it up as a risk. But the lock can still be useful because it doesn't have to use Wi-Fi or even the app. Except that there's issues with the way it uses NFC as well. Now, NFC can be over a secure channel and we use it for stuff like Apple Pay, which none of those security features are used here. So it really just reads the card however it's formatted any NFC card. For example, and though it's not the most expensive smart lock, at 170 it's not exactly cheap either. And they're not alone, there's other clones that are exactly the same thing. I honestly had high hopes for this, I wanted to install it, but in no way can I recommend this. Anyway, I hope that helps. Thanks!